Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fan company, so let's also update code until we get there. Today we are going to do remove nth node from an end of the list pro problem. And this problem can be asked in many different ways. And uh, if we see the sum of the companies that have already asked this question, it's really nice. Uh, so companies like Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Bloomberg, Uber, Apple, ByteDance, Goldman Sachs and Salesforce, they have all asked this problem and uh, they are some of my dream companies that I want to work at. So that's why I'm making these videos. I hope you enjoy them. Let's try to understand the problem statement. This is a lead code medium problem and uh, the title of the problem actually is self-explanatory that uh, essentially we are given the head of a linked list and we need to remove the nth node from the end of the list and then return its head. So this is the whole problem. If we try to understand it using a, an example, in the example, originally we are given a list called one, two, three, four, five. And over here we are given that n is equal to two. So we need to remove second node, but remember we need to remove the second node or nth node from the end of the list. So in this case, this would be the first node at the end of the list and this would be the second node at the end of the list. So we will need to remove this four. And once we remove this four, the answer would be something like this. So this is what we need to return. And uh, in this case, we will need to return this head pointer and then automatically it will traverse towards the entire li uh, linked list. Okay, so let's see that what would be the most basic solution to solve this problem. Suppose we are given a custom example like this and we need to return, se remove second node from the end of the list. Now, in this case, this would be the first node from the end of the list and this would be the second node from the end of the list. So we know that we need to remove this value number five. But the thing is, uh, the we don't we are able to know it because I have drawn in the picture over here and it is very evident to us. But actually, we don't know that what is the length of this given list. So because we don't know the length, what we need to do is that the answer is quite simple. First, we need to identify that what is the length and then we need to based on this given value n, we will need to determine that what is the element that we need to remove and then it becomes easy for us to remove the element. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to use a two pass approach and inside the first pass, we are just going to have a variable called n l and this L is to take care of the length of this given linked list. So in this case, we would find that, okay, length is equal to six because there are six nodes present in this given example. Now, once we know that there are six nodes present and our given N is equal to two, we will need to remove the fifth node. Why fifth node? Because the node we need to remove that is going to be determined based on the formula that uh, total length minus whatever the N is given plus one. Why plus one? Because we are using one index uh, calculation over here that this last element, this uh, sixth element is also the first last element. Remember that this is the critical part that this is the first last element, which means this is the second last element. And because of that, uh, if we see over here that this L is equal to six, this N is equal to two. So six minus two plus one is becomes five. And that's why we determine that we need to remove fifth node. If we don't do this plus one, essentially six minus two would be four. And we don't need to remove fourth node because fourth node is actually third node from the end of the list. So that is why I gave you this long explanation. Now, uh, in the first pass, we determine that, okay, this is the node we need to remove that this fifth node we need to remove. So all we need to do is in the second node, we, uh, in the second iteration, we are just going to iterate over this given list again till we reach the fifth node. So the moment we find that, okay, our current node is fourth node, which means that the next node is fifth node, right? So all we need to do is that whatever the fifth dot next is pointing. So currently fifth dot next is pointing to this value number six. We are going to append this value to this fourth dot next. So rather than over here, this four pointing to this five, we are going to remove this link and we are going to make this four point to six, which means that this five is automatically removed from this given input list. And uh, that would be our solution. But the moment you present the solution, your interviewer is going to say that rather than using two pass system suppose we want to complete this whole thing in just a single pass in just a single iteration then what should be your approach and this is the critical part so let me show you that what would be the most optimal solution let's use the same example and inside the same example uh, first let's try to understand a couple of things over here suppose over here in this case we are told that remove n is equal to 1 
so how can we determine that n is equal to 1 is which element we can determine that okay this is the first element from the end of the list why because the very next element of this one is actually null and this is the key point which means if we are given that n is equal to 2 so which means we need to remove the second element from the end of the list so how can we determine we can determine it by saying that okay currently if we are at this position the second node from this one so next to the next node would be a null node and if that is true we can determine that okay this is the second node from the end of the list and this is a very important property that we need to identify so basically what we are going to do is we are going to use two pointer system over here and inside the two pointer we are going to have a back pointer and a front pointer and the position of this back pointer and front pointer is determined based on whatever this n is given say ever if our back pointer is going to be at this position which means our front pointer needs to be two steps ahead so two steps ahead from this back position would be one two so this is where our front pointer would be at the beginning right and now since we have both of these positions set up uh, all we need to do is just keep iterating to the next element and we are going to iterate until we find that this f or the front element is actually at this null position so let's see that what would be the the uh, different pointer situation so now our back pointer is come to this position and again our front pointer is going to come to this position because back pointer jump from here to here and front pointer jumped from here to here again we front is not at null so again we will have to do one more uh, iteration so now the back pointer will come over here and the front pointer will jump to one more step and front pointer will come over here again front is not null so again our back pointer is going to take one more jump and our front pointer is also going to take one more jump so front pointer will come over here and over here we've identified that this front pointer is at null position so oh, this is the critical point now this front is at null position so we have identified that okay now this back pointer is exactly uh, enough spaces behind it that the whatever the next node is that needs to be removed and that is what we, we are going to do so over here we identify that okay this back is at current correct position now what we need to do is currently back dot next is the point that we need to remove so what we are going to do is simply we are going to uh, point this current back dot next so current back dot next is this five value we are going to point it to whatever the back dot next dot next is and this would be the solution because back what would be the back dot back uh, next dot next it would be this one so rather than this four pointing to this five we are going to break this link which means that there is no way for us to reach to this five and now four is directly connecting to six and then we need to return the solution now we need to return the head of this link list so uh, we are going to use the same point we are going we have been using so far that initially we are going to create a dummy node and this dummy node is going to act as a placeholder and that is going to store this head value and we are going to return that in the solution and uh, let's see that what would be the time and space complexity in this case so for the time complexity it's only going to be big o of l where l is the given length of uh, the linked list and in terms of space complexity we are only storing couple of parameters so it would be constant time and so we are not using any additional space so first of all we are going to create a dummy node and uh, inside this dummy node we are going to give it some random value we are going to create dummy dot next equal to head and we are using this dummy node as a placeholder now let's create our two front and back uh, list nodes okay once that is done now we will need to bring the front node n steps ahead of the back node so we are going to run a for loop after this loop ends the front and back are at the current position so now we only need to run a while loop till the front element is not equal to null and uh, all we need to do is just increment the value of front and back elements and once that is done now we are at the correct position for back to remove the next node so we are going to do back dot next equal to back dot next dot next 
okay and now we have removed the node that the nth node from the end of the list so we can simply return the head of the list and this should be our solution let's try to run the code okay seems like our code is working let's try to submit the code and our code runs pretty efficiently i will be posting the solution in the comments so you can check it out from there thank you